Robert Norton Noyce, nicknamed the Mayor of Silicon Valley, co-founded Fairchild Semiconductor in 1957 and Intel Corporation in 1968. He is also credited with the realization of the first integrated circuit or microchip that fueled the personal computer revolution and gave Silicon Valley its name. Biography Active all his life, Noyce enjoyed reading Hemingway, flying his own airplane, hang gliding, and scuba diving. Noyce believed that microelectronics would continue to advance in complexity and sophistication well beyond its current state leading to the question of what use society would make of the technology. In his last interview, Noyce was asked what he would do if he were Emperor of the United States. He said that he would, among other things, make sure we're preparing our next generation to flourish in a high-tech age. And that means education of the lowest and the poorest, as well as at the graduate school level. Early life Noyce was born on December 12, 1927 in Burlington, Iowa as the third of four sons of the Rev. Ralph Bruce de Noyce. His father had graduated from Dome College, Oberlin College, and the Chicago Theological Seminary. He was also nominated for a Rhodes Scholarship. The Rev. Noyce worked as a congregational clergyman and as the associate superintendent of the Iowa Conference of Congregational Churches in the 1930s and 1940s. His mother, Harriet May Norton, was the daughter of the Rev. Milton J. Norton, a congregational clergyman, and of Louise Hill. She graduated from Oberlin College in 1921 and had dreamed of becoming a missionary prior to her marriage. She has been described as an intelligent woman with a commanding will. Bob Noyce had three siblings, Donald Sterling Noyce, Gaylord Bruce de Noyce and Ralph Harold Noyce. His earliest childhood memory involved beating his father at ping-pong and feeling absolutely shocked when his mother reacted to the thrilling news of his victory with the distracted wasn't that nice of daddy to let you win, even at the age of five. Newis felt offended by the notion of intentionally losing at anything. That's not the game, he sulked to his mother. If you're going to play, play to win. In the summer of 1940, at the age of 12, he built a boy-sized aircraft with his brother, which they used to fly from the roof of the Grinnell College stables. Later he built a radio from scratch and motorized his sled by welding a propeller and an engine from an old washing machine to the back of it. His parents were both religious but Noyce became an agnostic and irreligious in later life. Education He grew up in Grinnell, Iowa, and attended the local schools. He exhibited a talent for mathematics and science while in high school and took the Grinnell College freshman physics course in his senior year. He graduated from Grinnell High School in 1945 and entered Grinnell College in the fall of that year. He was the star diver on the 1947 Midwest Conference Championship swim team. While at Grinnell College, Newis sang, played the oboe and acted. In Noyce's junior year, he got in trouble for stealing a 25-pound pig from the mayor of Grinnell's farm and roasting it at a school luau. The mayor sent a letter home to Noyce's parents stating that, in the agricultural state of Iowa, stealing a domestic animal is a felony which carries a minimum penalty of a year in prison and a fine of $1,000. So essentially, Noyce would have to be expelled from Grinnell College. Grant Gale, Noyce's physics professor and the president of Grinnell College, did not want to lose a student like Robert who had so much potential. They were able to compromise with the mayor so that the college would compensate him for the pig. Noyce would only be suspended for one semester, and no further charges would be pressed. He returned to Grinnell in February 1949. He graduated Phi Beta Kappa with a bar in physics and mathematics from Grinnell College in 1949. He also received a signal honor from his classmates, the Brown Derby Prize, which recognized the senior man who earned the best grades with the least amount of work. While an undergraduate, Lewis attended a physics course of the Professor Grant Gale and was fascinated by the physics. Gale got hold of two of the very first transistors ever to come out of Bell Labs and showed them off to his class and Noyce was hooked. 
Grant Gale suggested that he apply to the doctoral program in physics at MIT, which he did. Noyce had a mind so quick that his graduate school friends called him the Rapid Robert. He received his doctorate in physics from Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1953. Career after graduating from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1953, he took his first job as a research engineer at the Philco Corporation in Philadelphia. He left in 1956 for the Shockley Semiconductor Laboratory in Mountain View, California. He joined William Shockley, a co-inventor of the transistor and eventual Nobel Prize winner, at the Shockley Semiconductor Laboratory, a division of Beckman Instruments. Neuss left with the Traitorous Eight in 1957, upon having issues with respect to the quality of its management, and co-founded the influential Fairchild Semiconductor Corporation. According to Sherman Fairchild, Neuss's impassioned presentation of his vision was the reason Fairchild had agreed to create the Semiconductor Division for the Traitorous Eight. Neuss and Gordon Moore founded Intel in 1968 when they left Fairchild Semiconductor. Arthur Rock, the chairman of Intel's board and a major investor in the company, said that for Intel to succeed, Intel needed Noyce, Moore and Andrew Grove, and it needed them in that order. Neuss, the visionary, born to inspire, Moore, the virtuoso of technology, and Grove, the technologist turned management scientist. The relaxed culture that Noyce brought to Intel was a carryover from his style at Fairchild Semiconductor. He treated employees as family, rewarding and encouraging teamwork. His follow your bliss management style set the tone for many Valley success stories. Noyce's management style could be called the roll up your sleeves style. He shunned fancy corporate cars, reserved parking spaces, private jets, offices, and furnishings in favor of a less structured, relaxed working environment in which everyone contributed and no one received lavish benefits. By declining the usual executive perks, he stood as a model for future generations of Intel CEOs. At Intel, he oversaw Ted Hoff's invention of the microprocessor, which was his second revolution. Personal life In 1953, Neuss married Elizabeth Bottomley. She was a 1951 graduate of Tufts University. During this time, the couple lived in Los Altos, California. They had four children, William B., Pendred Priscilla, and Margaret. Elizabeth loved New England, so the family acquired a 50-acre coastal summer home in Bremen, Maine. Elizabeth and the children would summer there. Robert would visit during the summer, but he continued working at Intel during the summer. The couple divorced in 1974. On November 27, 1974, Neuss married Anne Schmelz Bowers. Bowers, a 1959 graduate of Cornell University, also received an honorary Ph.D. from Santa Clara University, where she was a trustee for nearly 20 years. She was the first director of personnel for Intel Corporation and the first vice president of human resources for Apple Inc. She currently serves as chair of the board and the founding trustee of the Noyce Foundation. Death Noyce suffered a heart attack at age 62 at home on June 3, 1990, and later died at the Seton Medical Center in Austin, Texas. Awards and honors. In July 1959, he filed for U.S. Patent 2,981,877, semiconductor device and lead structure, a type of integrated circuit. This independent effort was recorded only a few months after the key findings of inventor Jack Kilby, for his co-invention of the integrated circuit and its world-transforming impact. Three presidents of the United States honored him. Noyce was a holder of many honors and awards. President Ronald Reagan awarded him the National Medal of Technology in 1987. Two years later, he was inducted into the U.S. Business Hall of Fame sponsored by Junior Achievement during a black tie ceremony keynoted by President George H. W. Bush. In 1990 Noyce, along with, among others, 
Jack Kilby and Transistor inventor John Bardeen received a Lifetime Achievement Medal during the bicentennial celebration of the Patent Act. Newis received the Franklin Institute Stuart Ballantyne Medal in 1966. He was awarded the IEEE Medal of Honor in 1978 for his contributions to the Silicon Integrated Circuit. A cornerstone of modern electronics, in 1979, he was awarded the National Medal of Science. Neuss was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1980. The National Academy of Engineering awarded him its 1989 Charles Stark Draper Prize. The science building at his alma mater, Grinnell College, is named after him. On December 12, 2011, Lewis was honored with a Google Doodle celebrating the 84th anniversary of his birth. December 8, 2000 According to the book The Innovator's Noise was mentioned, credited as the honorary co-recipient in the Nobel Prize acceptance speech given by Kilby http colon slash slash www.nobelprize.org slash Nobel underscore prizes slash physics slash laureates slash 2000 slash Kilby dash lecture dot html legacy the Noyce Foundation was founded in 1991 by his family. The foundation is dedicated to improving public education in mathematics and science in grades K-12. The foundation announced that it would end operations in 2015. Patents Noyce was granted 15 patents. U.S. Patent 2,875,141 Method and Apparatus for Forming Semiconductor Structures, filed August 1954, issued February 1959, assigned to Philco Corporation, U.S. Patent 2,929,753 Transistor Structure and Method, filed April 1957, issued March 1960, assigned to Beckman Instruments, U.S. Patent 2,959,681 Semiconductor Scanning Device, filed June 1959, issued November 1960, assigned to Fairchild Semiconductor, U.S. Patent 2,968,750 Transistor Structure and Method of Making the Same, filed March 1957, issued January 1961, assigned to Clevi Corporation, U.S. Patent 2,971,139 Semiconductor Switching Device, filed June 1959, issued February 1961, assigned to Fairchild Semiconductor, U.S. Patent 2,981,877 Semiconductor Device and Lead Structure, filed July 1959, issued April 1961, assigned to Fairchild Semiconductor, U.S. Patent 3,010,033 Field Effect Transistor, filed January 1958, issued November 1961, assigned to Clevi Corporation, U.S. Patent 3,098,160 Field Controlled Avalanche Semiconductive Device, filed February 1958, issued July 1963, assigned to Clevi Corporation, U.S. Patent 3,108,359 Method for Fabricating Transistors, filed June 1959, issued October 1963, assigned to Fairchild Camera and Instrument Corp. U.S. Patent 3,111,590 Transistor Structure Controlled by an Avalanche Barrier, filed June 1958, issued November 1963, assigned to Clevi Corporation, U.S. Patent 3,140,206 Method of Making a Transistor Structure, filed April 1957, issued July 1964, assigned to Clevi Corporation, U.S. 
Patent 3,150,299 semiconductor circuit complex having isolation means filed September 1959, issued September 1964, assigned to Fairchild Camera and Instrument Corp. U.S. Patent 3,183,129 Method of forming a semiconductor, filed July 1963, issued May 1965, assigned to Fairchild Camera and Instrument Corp. U.S. Patent 3,199,002 Solid State Circuit with Crossing Leads, filed April 1961, issued August 1965, assigned to Fairchild Camera and Instrument Corp. U.S. Patent 3,325,787 Trainable System, filed October 1964, issued June 1967, assigned to Fairchild Camera and Instrument Corp. Citations. Carrot Lekire, 129. Carrot K. Krishnamurti, Spice in Science, Pustak Mahal, 192. ISBN 9788122309003. Retrieved 12 December 2011. Carrot Jones, 86. Carrot Jones, 142. Carrot ABC Berlin, 10. Carrot Burt, 71. Carrot Wells Gaylord, 130. Carrot Jones, 625. Carrot Berlin, 14. Carrot Berlin, 9. Carrot ABC Wolf, Tom. The Tinkerings of Robert Noyce. Esquire Magazine, 346 to 74. Retrieved the 7th of May 2010. Carrot AB Berlin, 12. Carrot Berlin, 7. Carrot Leslie Berlin. The Man Behind the Microchip, Robert Noyce and the Invention of Silicon Valley. Oxford University Press, p. 235. ISBN 9780195163438. The Minister, who had hidden himself in a closet stepped forward to marry the couple in a ceremony from which Bowers had excised every reference to God. Bob agreed to that. Neither of us could decide about God, Bowers says. I remember Bob saying, some people who believe in God are good, and some people who believe in God are not good. So where does that leave you? He had also looked around and decided that religion is responsible for a lot of trouble in the world, noise always pushing against the limits of accepted knowledge, told Bowers that what bothered him most about organized religions was that people don't think in churches, access date equals requires, URL equals, Cara Berlin, Leslie, Adrenaline and Gasoline, The Man Behind the Microchip, Robert Noyce and the Invention of Silicon Valley, Oxford, Oxford Up, 2005, 2223. Print. Carrot Berlin. 27. Carrot Berlin. 22. Carrot Berlin. 24. Carrot Berlin. 106. Carrot AB Berlin. 1. Carrot Schurken. 170. Carrot Schurken. 181. Carrot Schurken. 184. Carrot Tedlow. 405. Carrot one time Intel CEO Andy Grove on the other hand, believed in maximizing the productivity of his employees, and he and the company became known for his guiding motto, only the paranoid survive. He was notorious for his directness in finding fault and would question his colleagues so intensely as occasionally to border on intimidation. Carrot Garten, Jeffrey E. Andy Grove made the elephant dance. Business Week. Retrieved 7 May 2010. Carrot, Elizabeth B. Noyce, 65, benefactor of Maine with vast settlement from her divorce. The New York Times. September 20, 1996. Retrieved April 10, 2010. Carrot Berlin, Leslie. The Man Behind the Microchip, Robert Noyce and the Invention of Silicon Valley. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-516343-5, pp. 
Carrot, Class Notes 1950-1959, Cornell Alumni Magazine, September-October 2007, Retrieved 4 January 2012, Carrot A.B., News Foundation, About Us, Retrieved 2 January 2012, Carrot Hayes, Constance L., An Inventor of the Microchip, Robert N., News, Dies at 62, The New York Times, Retrieved April 10, 2010. Carrot, the National Medal of Technology and Innovation Recipients 1987. United States Patent and Trademark Office. Retrieved January 4, 2012. Carrot, U.S. Business Hall of Fame. Robert N. Noyce. Junior Achievement. Retrieved January 4, 2012. Carrot, President Bush 1 and Noyce and other laureates at U.S. Business Hall of Fame induction ceremony tonight in Colorado Springs. PR Newswire, March 16, 1989. Retrieved January 4, 2012. Carrot, Franklin Laureate Database, Stuart Ballantyne Medal 1966 Laureates, Franklin Institute. Retrieved December 6, 2011. Carrot, IEEE Medal of Honor Recipients. IEEE, retrieved December 6, 2011. Carrot, Robert Noyce, IEEE Global History Network, IEEE, retrieved July 18, 2011. Carrot, Book of Members, 1780-2010, Chapter N, American Academy of Arts and Sciences, retrieved April 20, 2011. Carrot, recipients of the Charles Stark Draper Prize. National Academy of Engineering, retrieved December 6, 2011. Carrot, Robert Noyce Google Doodle, logo conducts tribute to Intel co-founder and mayor of Silicon Valley, The Washington Post, December 12, 2011. Retrieved December 12, 2011. Carrot http colon slash slash www.noisefdn.org slash news.php. Retrieved the 22nd of July 2015.